not being heard. A hopefulist hot take. Well, as you can tell, I'm a little under the weather. My voice shot. It's gone. It's been getting less and less every day. So rather than um, do a full episode, I thought I'd do a, a hot take this week. Uh, maybe by the end of the week, I'll have my voice back enough to do a full episode. But I heard um, something today in one of my group coaching uh, groups that I thought was very relevant for what we were talking about just last week, which was finding your voice. And the topic that was being discussed that I listened to today was not being heard. So it kind of goes hand in hand, right? So I wanted to focus on this a little bit because one of the reasons that you feel that you're not heard is because you're constantly filtering your message. And it's not until you can confidently get your message out and say it with authority and not be scared of the backlash that you will feel heard. And make no mistake, this is going to remain scary and will not become less scary until you actually do it. And I guarantee you that after you do it, you'll have such a sense of relief. You'll brace for the backlash. And if there is any, you will be prepared to handle it because we're going to prepare in advance for how we're going to handle backlash by figuring out how we're going to react to it, how we're going to take it in, how we're going to let it affect us. So we put these steps in place before we make that big, bold move of shouting out our opinion to the world. And then you are ready to handle it because there will be backlash. Make no mistake about that. Not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody's going to celebrate you. Not everybody's going to want to hear from you. And you have to go into that knowing those are the conditions. But here's the good part. The really good part of this is that once you realize that everyone won't get you, understand you, or celebrate you, the more you understand you don't need that. The more you understand that once you can handle the backlash, that's when you can really step up and tell your truth because you won't be afraid of what people will say. And that, my friend, is a superpower. Because once you are no longer afraid to speak your mind, share your opinion, say what you think should be happening, there will be no stopping you. And the first couple of times it takes some practice. You know, you might feel a little uneasy about it. You might feel like you've gotten some backlash that's too hard to take. But then give it another day and realize you didn't die. You still are married and you still have kids and you still have your friends. And, you know, it's not as drastic as we are making it out to be. So one of the reasons and especially for women, that we feel like we are not heard is because we filter our conversation. We always take a little step back and say, well, I don't want to say that because that might, that might be, they make them mad and I don't want to piss them off. And so we water our, our true opinion down so that it comes across more delicately. And let me ask you this. Do you feel that's what men do when they are expressing their opinion? I'm hoping you said no. Men do not hold back for the most part. They say what they feel. They demand things to go the way that they want them to go. And another one of the reasons that women don't feel heard like men do is because we're not given the same respect. We're not considered as worthy as a man's opinion. And that is slowly starting to, it was slowly starting to change, but now that, you know, women's lives are at risk and nobody cares, we're obviously going backwards. But I'm going to talk more about that in the full podcast this week.
But we are often seen by society as not knowing as much, as not being smart as they are, as being too emotional. All of these things come into the fact that we are not as respected when it comes to our opinion as men are. So what we need to do is to practice speaking out loud, to practice sharing our opinion. Because the more you practice it, the better you get at it. And the better you get at it, the more you will be heard. Again, you may not be celebrated. You may not be liked. But you will be heard. You know, use me as an example. I have not shut up about women's rights since Roe v. Wade was overturned. I will not shut up about women's rights until women are treated equally as men are, as we should have always been. And now, right when we're starting to catch up, they're doing this to hold us back once again, to oppress us. And I will not stand by and let it go without being noticed. I will notice it. I will yell about it. I will talk about it as much as I possibly can. Do people like that about me? No, a lot of people don't. Do people agree with me? No, a lot of people don't. Do I care? No, I really don't. I'm going to keep doing what I do because now I feel stronger than ever since I've gotten through those first couple of backlashes and realized that life goes on, that I'm still here, that my life hasn't completely altered, that I'm brave enough to do it again and again. Because the more likely you are to communicate from a point of strength instead of being filtered or fearful of what people will think and say about how you really feel, the more you will be in touch with your real, true self. Because as I've mentioned on here before, I have lost friends. I have lost family members over my speaking out against all of this. And... It makes me sad. It really does. But I am not going to hold back what I feel I need to do. To feel good about myself as a person. To do what I think is right and necessary in the world today. Because they're uncomfortable with it. And that's what it comes down to. What I am speaking out about makes them uncomfortable. And they have made that my problem. They have thrown that back at me. They have said, if you continue to do this, and they didn't say this outright, but the not speaking part shows that they have thrown that back at me and said, I am uncomfortable. I do not like when you talk about this. Therefore, I will not be talking to you because I don't want to be uncomfortable. And that's their choice. I am not going to filter myself. I am not going to step back. I'm going to keep doing what I do. And it's something that does take practice. So if you feel like you're not being heard, it's probably because you haven't found your full voice yet. And you're going to have to try. You're going to have to do it. And then again, and then again. But the good part is, I know you can. I know you got it in you. I know you're brave enough to weather the storm. You have the courage to carry on, just like I have. I didn't think I could do it. Turns out I could, just like you can. Talk to you soon.